Everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I know I've told y'all I'd be doing a couple of uh, video samples and camera quality samples from the Essential phone. However, before I did all that, I wanted to post everything together. I have finally got my hands on the 360 camera from Essential. I have not even given it a, a go yet. I wanted to do a quick unboxing for y'all. You can see it's kind of similar to the boxing style, obviously, on the Essential phone itself. Uh, really quick, before I jump into this, I just want to let you know I've been using the, the Essential phone now for about a week or so, and it it is awesome. I've had no complaints as far as picture quality uh, in normal conditions. In low light, it struggles a little bit, but it has been phenomenal nonetheless. Some of these monochrome photos that I was able to take with the phone has been awesome, uh, whether it's of my daughter, my dog, scenery. Uh, I'm very excited to actually post that for you, but I want to go ahead and give you some uh, some idea on my thoughts on the 360 camera with that video. Make sure you subscribe so you get the notifications when I do go ahead and post that. Uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and thumbs up as well. Leave a comment down below if there's any specific sort of uh, photo or anything you want me to cover in that review video. But yeah, let's go ahead and just, uh, just open this up really quick, kind of show it to you, plug it in. See if it works as flawlessly as they say. Pretty simplistic packaging, like I said, very similar to the uh, to the essential phone itself. Same thing, a little pull tab on the side, and a slide out for the box. And there it is. This thing is really tiny, actually. Uh, they did say it was the world's smallest 4K 360 camera, but... Uh, that doesn't even do it justice until you can hold it. Let me just put this next to it really quick. You can see how tiny that actually is. Uh, that's pretty impressive. I can't wait to see the quality on it. And supposedly, all you're supposed to do is take these pins and touch the back to get your power supply. And it clicked right in. It actually sounds like the, uh, the fan went ahead and kicked in as well. And you can see exactly what it looks like let's go ahead and clear this out there was actually a notification that actually said the 360 camera was installed don't see the option right here disconnect it and plug it back in really quick I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera but that photo on my background is actually a black and white monochrome picture I took with the uh, Essential phone. You can see the quality was awesome. All right, so right off the bat, it said 360 unavailable. There is an update required first. Now, to figure out how to get that update, and it looks like it actually gave me the notification right there. So we'll go ahead and click it and get the update really quick. This is the background I was telling you about of my Husky. Uh, it is pretty flawless. I love the quality of it. The, three, the uh, monochrome camera does wonders if you're a fan of that sort of photography. Looks like this download's actually going pretty quick as well. I heard the camera kick back in. I'm not sure if you can hear that humming on video. But it's definitely there. It's not very loud or intrusive. Hopefully you won't be able to hear it in the actual video itself. <clears throat> Update complete. It looks like the camera is going to restart, it says. And there we are. Pretty simple. I'm not going to get into details right now. I'll save that for the review. Um, let me know what y'all think. 
Is this going to be the make or break for the Essential Phone? You tell me. Leave a note in the comments. Don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll have a lot more coming with this as well as the Note 7 this or excuse me, Note 8 this week as well. Thanks for watching, guys.